Imagine this modern Green Acre story. Two city slickers escape to the country for a simple life as modern day goat farmers. Josh Kilmer Purcell and also Brent Ridge did just that. And the result, of course, had to be reality TV with a show called The Fabulous Beekman Boys. They never lost their taste for life's little luxuries, no matter where their travels have taken them. The Beekman Boys join us now to explain how to travel in style and on a budget, whether you are camping, glamping, or anywhere in between. Good morning. Great to be hey, here, Stephanie. Stephanie. So a lot of people dream of leaving hectic city life behind, and you guys did just that. I'm guessing a lot of people are envious of that, but how was it? How did it go? To uh, <laughs> you miss anything from well, the, the city life? Well, we call ourselves accidental goat farmers because we were just, we were two city guys, New York City, and we were traveling in upstate New York one weekend, just as a weekend getaway, and we fell in love with the farm and we bought it. We took in a neighboring farmer with his 80 goats. And then in the recession of 2008, we lost our jobs. So we had to turn to the goats. We started making goat milk beauty products, goat milk soap. And that's how we saved the farm and started our company. And learned how to be comfortable no matter where we were. Well, what a life. Sounds like y'all are having a lot of fun, too. And when it comes to packing, sounds like you are also experienced travelers. So what are some tips to keep in mind when we are planning for that next adventure? Well, a lot of people know us from our stint winning the Amazing Race, and that taught us the number one thing is don't overpack. You, you know, we went around the world with nothing more than a backpack. And so our number one tip is pack the suitcase with everything you think you need, and then take one third of it out. And sometimes the very first thing that you can take out are all of your beauty products and your body care products. They take up a lot of space. They always cause hassle in the TSA check line. And one of the things that you can do is you can look at the hotel you're going to be staying at beforehand and see what products they're using in the hotel room. A lot of times the products that they're using in the hotel rooms might be better than the ones that you're planning on packing. You know, we just redesigned all of the amenities for country inns and suites, so we know that those are good products. <laughs> so if you happen to be staying in a country inns and suites, you're golden. <laughs> that is some of the best advice, by the, by the way. There are so many times that I have overpacked and end up just with a bunch of junk that I don't need, and then the hotel already had it. So, can we also talk about how less stressful that is, too? That's right. Not and you can also make shopping stuff? in the destination yeah. part of your vacation. Exactly. Because, uh, you know, if you're traveling even within the U.S., you can try out different stores and see how people there, you know, shop and what the prices are. If you're traveling internationally, that's a, that's a great adventure, too. So, shopping for your everyday items in a, in a different store. Is part of a vacation. Yeah, shopping locally in the destination that you're going to. Hey, and anytime us ladies can uh, get an excuse to shop, I think we're totally on board with that. When packing, <laughs> though, what items right. should you take with you and maybe what items should you leave behind? Because I know you mentioned a great place to stay that already has some of those needs, but where can we find those places? What maybe are those well, best Josh places? Well, Josh and I, you know, our business started in the midst of the recession, and so we're very budget conscious, and we have, we personally have two criteria. Josh has to have a place with free breakfast. Free hot breakfast. Has and, to be hot. And I have to have a place with free Wi-Fi, and th those are the two non-starters. But it's so great. There's so many places now traveling on any budget level where you can get free hot breakfast, get free Wi-Fi, get free parking. And um, if those and things are free, you spend more money on your exactly. souvenirs then you can go and shopping your shopping. More. Well, it all comes full circle with shopping, by the way. Where can we go online to, to learn more before we hit the road to get more on your advice? Well, yep. you can get some great travel tips at countryends.com and, of course, learn all about Beekman 1802 and what we do at Beekman1802.com. Well, you two are fabulous. Uh, what's next for you? Any adventures planned? I know well, you gotta summertime, be hitting the so we are staying on the farm, and we've got some glamping tents back here, as you can see. So Glamping is glamorous camping. That's the newest hot trend. Yeah, Country Inns and Suites built these, and we slept in them last night. Air conditioner and free Wi-Fi <laughs> in the tent. Yeah, I love to glamp. We actually just did a story on it. It truly is camping on a silver platter, so that's too another great idea. It is. It's amazing. <laughs> great to it's have you true. both on the show. And if you want more on this segment, head online. Check us out at fox4morningblend.com.